What's up, what's up, Wheatfield? How y'all doing? This is your girl, Lottie, coming in from Tears and Wheat Tarot Show, where you show nothing, never know what you're going to get. It's your favorite channel, Messenger, and we just going to keep claiming it. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope everybody is doing well, as well as can be, um, given the terrain and circumstances of your day. I say, um, we have a couple of cards we're going to pull and uh, see what the energy has to say. What type of advice we have from the spirit, the most high God, yes, the infinite intelligence of the all and the breath of life coming to give us some advice. We have chakra cards here. We have some, what is it, sacred force oracle. We have here, we're gonna pull some of that. And we also have some inner peace oracle as well so we're gonna pull some of those and just get a quick little message out we ain't gonna be too long we have grief that is the chakra card that we pulled and that is not coinciding because we definitely are experiencing some grief um as you know i am in the wheat field my wheat how y'all doing what up guys we welcome back welcome to you if you knew, if you knew, welcome to the week, Bill. Welcome to you, too. Thank you so much for sharing space and time with me. Today is March 28th, but whenever you get this message, it's still good for now. And right now, the main energy that we have is someone who is grieving. And again, all messages are edifying onto self and self edification so I can serve that up to the most high God. And then what I receive down, let me be so full that I may edify, edify you, my we serve that out onto the we field. Yes, anything in this, this one, this one, okay. We have creation. And it fell in my lap in the reverse. It's supposed to be in reverse? No. Okay, we it turned up right. Creation. Creation here. But I did put it on the table and challenge, on the bed of the challenge. Anything else in here? No. Um, yeah, so if we can be full with whatever we receive from the Spirit, then we can serve that out onto you for your edification, I say. Because we are uh, pieces and pixels of the source, and uh, many of our uh, afflictions are the same. We have victim. Victim, like I said, many of our afflictions are the same. We are oftentimes going through similar circumstances and similar uh, situations. And we can touch and agree with one another and offer comfort through our connectivity. So I pray for the Father will be here to guide us and guide the message. Yes, for the Father to come in and be here and guide the message. So that what we receive, we can unite in harmony and understanding and compassion again led it on to comfort to one another so that you know just like I know that we are not alone we are not do you want this miracle card yes father it's in a challenge is it a challenge or a reverse reverse no challenge yes challenge okay so somebody is challenged you know the grief is not allowing you to see what will come after the grief I hear after the pain, I don't know if y'all remember that old song. I don't know if it's my uh, yeah, Ooh, what is her name? Phyllis Hyman, no, something like that. Betty Wright, maybe I don't know, I don't remember. But we have wisdom just fell out, wisdom as well. That's in the challenge, and we have trickery trickery that's here and that's in the upright right on top of victim like somebody has been a victim of something uh false trick you know something you know lies to see uh falling for something that uh and i feel like somebody giving him something you see this like they got a basket of something already and then they holding something behind them that they're going to give them something. But whatever it is, it's false. Like there's false promises, right? False promises. Like a victim of false promises. Yeah. So definitely heavy grief. I definitely feel that heavy grief. Like grief is expanding, right? Like something is making you even more sorrowful. You know, somebody that was vain. We have vanity here as well. Somebody that was vain. And I feel like maybe uh, the person that was doing the tricking, uh, promising false things, things that they could not deliver, like, you know, a too good to be true type situation. Yeah. I have Quest here. 
either you came into this situation or you walked into it or somebody is trying to get you to walk into a situation yeah like you walked into it maybe against you know your own inner knowingness i feel you know maybe with this wisdom card being in a challenge you walked into something against your own intuition like not really digging into your own intuition and you kind of got pulled into some false promises and the issues from these false promises are getting bigger they're expanding yeah anything else about that in here no Okay, but I do hear we did land on renewal for you. We renewal this life is kind of great. So maybe, you know, of course, the father has a way of making good on all things, right? So everything to the father's will, and there will be growth after the situation. If anything, you will have grown as a person, you will have uh, deepened your trust in your own intuition taking the lesson or maybe you have been led into something by under false pretenses or you walk into a situation under false pretenses and you have gained some knowledge from that we have power you've gained some knowledge you've gained some power from this situation it's definitely um challenging for you right now to see how you will have gained from this situation but is it this this one yeah grace maybe you are challenged with how you're going to gain from this situation and being graceful throughout the end of it holding it classy we talked about holding it classy earlier today or yesterday or something like that just holding on to you know that energy this 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 one. yeah refuge you know, how do you take refuge? How do you rest? How do you pull back from this situation? Maybe you are coming. Um, I, refuge is in a challenge, but it's in a challenge with your power, your grace. Um, and what's underneath here? With quest and the upright. So maybe you were moving in an energy where, you know, you needed to take refuge or you came out of the refuge to Soon. You know, maybe you needed to kind of still retreat, relax, recover from some things. Because I do see challenges with miracles and a challenge, wisdom and a challenge. Not being able to trust, truly have faith, or seeing how the Father is working in this situation. All of that was challenging you. And the grief is definitely the primary emotion. It is challenging your ability to create to see, I believe, where it is that you're going and making the decisions that is uh, fruitful, I hear, for your life. Yeah. And definitely getting called into a situation by someone who was promising you something false. So we see victim, I'll start from quest, you know, going off or coming back into something, I hear, definitely coming back into something, you know, where somebody has uh, made some false promises that you fell victim to or you feel like you walked into something under false pretenses and that emotion is definitely expanding. I feel like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger with you, within you. Like that anger, I feel, is getting bigger. It's growing and it's definitely challenging your ability to remain graceful, to stand in your power. I hear recall your power father is saying recall your power you can take the lessons and there are some actions to take i believe in this situation so that you can recover any losses with that renewal is there yeah acceptance acceptance you know that's where we were leading to acceptance like sometimes you have to accept that things may seem like it's getting the best of you in the moment but whatever it is that they think that they have gotten over on you is really not anything else in here, no. Because you will have gained your power, your ability to remain graceful, classy, and uh, and being coming out accomplished, I right hear. Accomplished with this new, I said coming out accomplished and look what just fell out. 
leadership, leadership, coming out accomplished at the end, like how you, uh, I hear just handle the situation, like you're going to rise above the situation, and that is going to expand your leadership abilities, like you may have the anger and the emotion that is going on within you right now, beloved, but it's definitely teaching you something in terms of your leadership abilities, your ability to see through the veil, to see the trickery, to have to lean into your intuition when the father is saying, yeah, you're going to have some gratitude for it. You will. You'll have some gratitude for it at the end when you see how you have been grown. And that's the magic. That is the magic. And that's how the father works. You know, I see the wolf howling at the moon, something that's going to be very instinctual to you, that's going to be pulled out, you know what I mean? Something that, you know, digging into that basic root, something that's, uh, I feel, very ingrained within you, your ability to uh, manifest, to renew yourself. This right here, this renewal, it's going to almost seem like, magic and people are not going to understand how did you recover from this how did you you know how did you get over this how did you get beyond it how did you make it work out for your good because the most high god would do all things i say i say what did i say how did you make it work out for your good anything else in that deck father no so this one right here we got take responsibility for your life as a creative adventure we literally just said that some things you're going to have to accept for the fact that you may have been misled with false promises you there's some acceptance in that but you will learn you will learn and you will dig into your intuition you will trust yourself and you will see how far you have grown because of that stepping more into your power using your grace and that in going forward really honing in those leadership skills i feel honing in on those leadership skills it was all a lesson all a lesson take responsibility for your life as a creative adventure yes you went on a quest and you walked into something under false pretenses under false promises but you learned something and you learned how to take leadership and ownership of your life you may have had some struggle with uh, relinquishing your power withholding your grace holding your classy but I feel like you know or maybe coming out of refuge too soon you know what I mean maybe you were resting recovering from past relationships or past happenings and you know kind of was going along your way on your journey and got called into something under false pretenses I feel that for somebody too father said the collective field is impacting you unseen forces are in action unseen forces are in action get that in there clear unseen forces are in action how can you relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked you know it's right on top of that victimhood you know you may feel like you're locked in that situation in that mindset my ear just start ringing too locked in that situation in that mindset but it's up to you to again recall your power recall this power your power Hold your grace right here. Have some acceptance and hold your grace. You know, being graceful. Graceful. You will discover how all of these things made you better. Again, discover with enlightenment right behind that. Enlightenment right behind that. You will discover. You will discover some sort of leadership or passion or calling and service out of all of this. And you will realize also having gratitude for the fact that this rejection is for your protection. Like you got called into something. And it may have uh, set you up. You know how your energy enemies become your footstool kind of situation. Might as touch. Things are working out in your favor. Did not say that it may have set you up with your enemies your footstool you got the mightiest touch everything you got the mightiest touch turns to go um, mm, mm, mm. things are working out in your favor you don't know, maybe you don't believe that they are because again you having a hard time seeing the miracles and how God will actually make this whole situation work out for your good all things will work out for your good if you believe continue to believe on the Lord and just you know Stay graceful, stay classy. Out of the woods, you made it through. You made it through. 
out of the woods. Out of the woods. You made it through. You made it. What newness is emerging? Did we not just see renewal when we said that you're going to be renewed, restored, ha, ashe, out of the woods? You made it through. What newness is emerging? You're going to come out of this a whole new person. You're probably not even really going to recognize yourself like that. Again, you can make it through. Your higher self is guiding you. Something is calling you through, pulling you through. You're not doing this by yourself. You may have felt like you walked into the okie doke like somebody just kind of fed you the bullshit line and you feel for it. And now you might be feeling some kind of, I hear, woe is me um, type of attitude. But count it all to good, beloved. Count it all to good because, again, the Father will make your enemies your footstool. And they'll be sitting up here trying to look like to what on how, they, <laughs> how did they blow up after I tried to set them up. And that's how that shit is going to go. Ha! Ah, yes, everything is a reflection. Hold up the energetic mirror. See you. Because everything comes to show you, you, to grow you, to teach you, so that you learn how to become the highest you. What do you need in, in your life that you're not currently getting? Visualize it. Find it within self. Become it. Resonate with it. Change your frequency. Yes. To the next now. Know that you are blessed and you are protected. And you're going to be sitting at the head of the table. The one that the Father made from your enemies that are not your footstool. I'll share.